Hey, this is Sasha. And in today's video, what I'd like to do is share with you how to properly write your title and description, at least for the metadata. So that way you can rank higher in the search engines or at least better optimized. So if you're looking to write a good title with SEO in mind and a good description with thinking about search engine optimization, in that case, this is what I wanna share with you in this video. So if we take a quick moment and just look at Google and look through the microphones here, and I just put in a keyword search for wireless microphone lavalier right at the top. So as we start scrolling down, um, you'll see that there's different types of links out there. So this right here, anything in blue, this is your main title. And typically right under it is the description. Okay, that's kind of how the title and description works and you get a chance to write those titles and descriptions. Now, Google and certain search engines don't always use your full title or your full description. For example, uh, they might modify that description a little bit. They'll tweak it depending on what's inside your body text. So also, if it's a little bit too long, like let's take, for example, uh, this one from B&H Photo, you can see that this, the Sennheiser, uh, EW112, and you can see there's the three dots, which means the description is a little bit too long or lengthy. But basically, you want to write this title in a nice way so that way it has your appropriate keywords and it's related to what it is that you're offering on that page. And then you also need to write that description right under it as well. And that just kind of helps optimize it so that way when people are reading it, they're more likely to click it, or when search engines are scanning it, they're more likely to rank you higher for those search terms. So those are the two main things that you need to focus on when writing the metadata, which is the meta title and the meta description. Uh, they are used to be a meta keywords, but um, Google and other search engines have found that to be a little spammy. So nowadays you don't really have to worry about that as much. Uh, so in either case, what I want to do is share with you how to really write this, at least in a good way, um, and keep it simple, at least within a WordPress-based website. And you'll see that it's not too difficult. It just takes a little bit of planning. And once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to knock these out fairly quickly and optimize your pages. So in order to illustrate this example, what I'm going to do is just use one of the pages from my website. And you can see here's the Countryman V3 Lav microphone. It's a review and test of that microphone. And then there's the video uh, for it. So what I'm going to do is I can click through it and just edit the post. And here is my edit post within my back end of the website. Now, normally at the beginning, especially with WordPress, it's going to kind of give you this um, title right there, whatever you put in. So if I scroll down and the plugin that I'm using is Yoast SEO, you'll see that what it does is create that as the title, okay? Now, there's no meta description that I've inputted right there because you can see it's empty, okay? So that is actually empty right there. But you could tweak it to make it even better, okay? So the more you tweak it and play with it, you can constantly update it and check your rankings and you can really be uh, on top of these things if you really want to be. For me personally, I usually just write it once and kind of set it and forget it and just make another uh, post or article. Um, you could go back once every six months and tweak some of these things to fine tune things and it might give you a little bit of extra value or boost in the rankings. Uh, but overall, is it worth that time to results value? Maybe, it really depends on you, what industry you're in and how much time you're willing to put into it. So this plugin right here, the Yoast SEO, if you search for this, what it does is really it just puts the metadata right into your website. So if I go into my website right here and you can see this is just the website, I right click and I can go to view page source, okay, right on the browser. What it's going to do is populate the metadata. Now, back in the day, you used to be able to do this manually or you used to just do it manually and you still can. But these plugins, what they allow you to do is they input these snippets right into this, um, into the website. So as I look into this, and you can see the title right here, here's our title tag, and that's what Yoast SEO really does. Okay, so you can see Yoast SEO plugin, it comes in right there. So there's our title that's written at least for the homepage, and then there's the description right there. Now, every page itself has one of these. So if I go into the Countryman Lab and I view the source, and then let me just find the title. OK, 
Okay, so let's just go to it, and there it is. Okay, so you can see this is the blog archives. Maybe I was not on the right one. Let's click through it and go to the page directly. So here it is, the Countryman B3 Lav. Okay, so this is the actual page post. So again, I'll right-click, view source. Let's do find the title, and you can see right here. Countryman B3 Lav Mike review and test backstage income, but there's no description, right? This page doesn't show a meta because it doesn't have one. Either write it for this page or go to the into the SEO and set up a template. So that's what we ultimately want to do is we want to write a description for this. So let me zoom back out. And if we go ahead and we write one, how do you really write one? Well, you think about your keywords in mind. Typically, the more important the keyword the more you want it towards the front. So in my case, if you're new to this and you want to brainstorm, here's a little example that you could do is you could search for, let's see what other websites or related topics are writing. And it'll kind of give you some ideas of things people are searching for. So in our case here, you could see um, this omnidirectional lavalier microphone, Countryman B3 are very good keywords. Okay, so you can see these keywords right there are fairly good to get in there. Okay, so those are a few good ones. And now what I'm doing is I'm just scanning for a few other major keywords that people have searched for. And if you don't see any of those, sometimes what you can even do is towards the bottom here, there's related searches. So you can see they have related searches that are, again, lavalier, a microphone, uh, sound professionals, you know, um, then they also compare it B3 versus the B6. Uh, so there's a, a few different variations here, but lavalier would be good or a lav um, and microphone omnidirectional. So you can see on my post, there's no omnidirectional and lavalier is not mentioned. So what I can do is let me just go ahead and take this one. It has a lot of those good keywords. I'll just put it in the description for now so that way I can kind of see some of those keywords. So now what I'll do is maybe I'll start writing my title. So how do you write the title? Well, you could just type it in in this uh, box right here, okay? So what I could do is, okay, let me take my old one again just so I don't lose that one, okay? Let's see here. Copy this over there. So now I'll create one. So I could say uh, country and you can see how it's editing or changing these right at the top as I type in this SEO title right here. It's changing it all the way up here. Okay. So that's what I'm actually doing. Okay. So here I could say countrymen B3 omnidirectional uh, omni directional lavalier mic rephone review and test and you could you could add a couple of um, ex an exclamation point if you want you could uh, change it up sometimes I'll use uh, brackets to get those things going uh, or to just kind of give a little bit of a difference because remember it's not just about the robots or the search engine crawlers it's also about the user catching things so if they see review and test maybe that's exactly what they're looking for because that's what I have um, you know and you double check your spelling so again omnidirectional if things aren't looking good there then you just double check your spelling or make the adjustment right there okay let me just see omnidirectional looks okay but let's just see yep looks good omnidirectional so once you have this set up right there now you write the description right so you can see the Yoast SEO plugin is really good because if I kept writing here um, learn more about this plugin you can see how it creates this green bar for the title where green is good. That's, that's all I really need for the title. If you go too far, you've already extended the character width too much, okay? The meta description is the next thing that I want to write. 
Now, for many people, as I look through this, you can see the Countryman wireless round lavalier microphone is all purpose rugged. I'll update the review as soon as I get a resolution. You can see some of the descriptions they put up, but it's basically two to three lines. It's not too big um, in terms of the description goes, but two to three lines is all you want. And you can see that Google will even trim some of these right here. Okay, so you see with the three dots, they kind of trim some of those to match because of the key words. So what you can do is as you're looking for setting up this description, you know, you want to think about this process. But here, um, let me just take a moment and write something out and then I'll show you exactly what I've came up with. Okay, so here's what I've came up with. So learn about the Countryman B3 Omnidirectional Lav Mic. Now one of the reasons I've used lav mic instead of lavalier is just to get a different keyword uh, within the description rather than the title okay so that's one of the things and the same thing with the microphone versus the mic so you can see i've done just a slight little uh, difference there uh, in terms of my keyword usage then i also just wrote a little bit about the microphone so i said it is incredibly tiny has crisp audio and durable. And I use the ampersand sign instead of and because, um, because of just the length. You'll notice here with the length as we expand it, it might get a little bit tight. You will love this microphone. And then again, I emphasized microphone uh, right there to use the key words and I could add B3 microphone. Now, as I continue uh, typing over here, you can see that now it gets red, which means it's a little bit too long. So using just one to two lines is all you need. But if you can squeeze a few other keywords in there uh, without getting too, um, uh, too spammy, that's what you want to do. You want to make sure that it's not spammy. It's focused on the user because that's what search engines want but it still includes your keywords and it makes sense. Now here I've used, it is incredibly tiny, has crisp audio and durable, uh, simply because it explains what the mic is. It gives a description of the mic. And here again, you can see the and sign versus the ampersand saves me right there into squeezing those things in. Now, once I'm all set and if I'm happy with this, I feel good about it, then I'll go ahead and just hit the update the post button or just update my page. And then what I can do is, you can see going back to my view source, you can see there's no description here, but if I hit F5 and refresh, okay, you can see there is our description. So you can see how it works out really nicely for, um, we have our title, we also have our description right there, works out great, and now we are good for search engines. Ultimately, the more important the keyword, the more you want it towards the front. As you track your rankings time and time again, probably check it once a month, once every three months, or once every six months, you can make slight little adjustments because you might get ranked for something like, uh, you know, as people do searches, they might look for a tiny, crisp microphone, okay? And that listing might show up. And if you're seeing that these things are coming up and you're getting a lot of traffic, you might want to make these words a little more important and move them towards the front. Okay, so you'll start playing with those things with time, but that's ultimately how you write a really nice title and a fairly nice description for your web page. And you're going to do it differently for each page because every page is different, focuses on different keywords, has a different purpose. So your main home page is going to be different from your uh, sub pages, the about page. You're going to have to write them, be a little more custom about them, and that's what will help you get higher rankings in the search engines because you're being more specific on what that page has to offer. Thanks for joining me in this video. I hope you really found it helpful. If you want to join me on some of my exclusive video training courses or just join me in a live business training class, click the button right here. And when you get there, enter your name and email address and you'll be added to my newsletter list where I share with you how you can join me on my future webinars, live classes, and even get exclusive access to some of the other trainings that I have. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.